Chiming in. Sorry for my tardy. Apologize for the tardy. Chiming in. Thanks for chiming in. Apologize for the tardy. Um, multitasking as usual. But uh, we're here. About to get it in on the Roman series. Let's rock. Let's rock, y'all. do this. How about that? Here we go. Um, let me get Romans going. We're on the Romans series, y'all. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Let's get ready to roll. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study on this 21st day in December 2017. Let's dive on in, y'all. Uh, we was going through Romans, the first chapter, when... Uh, both uh, Israel, a.k.a. Judah, so-called Jews, and Gentiles, uh, both were guilty. Wanted to exclude, exclude um, Yah out of their knowledge. It was given over to some real filthy, uh, freaky behavior. So, Romans the se second chapter, let's pick it up at the uh, first verse. Look what it says. It says, Thou therefore art. Did I pray? Let's pray. Spirit of living God, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. I'm lifting you up, exalting you, asking you to uh, show up, show up, do what only you can do. Send a relevant word. Give clarity to your word. We trust, be and thank you. In the match the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, so we only pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Here we go, y'all. Romans 2 and 1. Therefore, thou art. Inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges. For when thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doeth the same things. Um, is there a problem with judging? When, um, um, Matthew 7 says, Judge not that you be not judged, for which, which uh, uh, judgment you meet, it shall be measured to you again. Is that saying don't judge? Because it went on to, to say, first, it said, why, why do you behold the speck that's in your brother's eye and don't consider the beam that's in your own eye? First, cast off the beam out of your eye, then you see clearly. How to get the speck out your brother's eye. So is that saying don't judge? Or is that really saying you live in filthy, how are you going to correct somebody else? We're supposed to, uh, uh, Ephesians 5 and 11 say, um, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, yet reprove them. And reprove them means to judge them, to correct them. And so, Judge not that you be not judged for what, what judgment you uh, 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 measure, it shall be measured to you again. Or what, 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 what judgment you meet, it shall be measured to you again. That means, if I tell you not to be a liar, how can I? And I'm lying. I tell you don't commit adultery, and I'm an adulterer. I tell you to serve Yah, and I'm not serving Him. Thou, th therefore thou art inexcusable, a man whosoever thou art that judges... For when thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doeth the same things. The problem is not calling a spade a spade. The problem is you're the problem. You're still in sin yourself. 
You got to get your stuff together first. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for if thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges doeth the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of Yah is according to truth against them which do such things. We, we, we prove we know right from wrong by telling someone else that they're wrong, yet we're doing it ourselves. That's, that's what's wrong uh, with, you know, the so-called church. A lot of people is shying away from church based on church people. A lot of folk talk a good game, but they're not living it. And, and it's just really time out for that. But anyway, but, but we are sure that the judgment of Yah is according to the truth against them which commit such things. And think of thou as this, O man, that judges them uh, which do such things and doeth the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of Yah. If you're telling other people he's going to judge them for doing it, you think you're going to escape just because you're the one talking? Or despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long severed, not knowing that it's the goodness of Yah that leadeth thee to repentance. You, 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 do you despise the process of the Most High? Do you despise the fact that um, he is long suffering? He do. He, 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 he is. He is patient. And sometimes we get in our flesh and, and, and we, we condemn folk based on being religious. Not, not, not exemplifying the mercy of Yah. Now again, learning how to write and divide this thing, you got to remember, he said, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness and you were commanded to reprove them. You look at uh, Job. He said there was a man... Uh, uh, um, in the land of Oz, one who feared uh, uh, Elohim and eschewed evil. He hated evil. We're supposed to hate evil. But there is also the process of, of witnessing, showing love. People need to see the truth um exemplified in someone's lifestyle, proving that Yah is still alive. He, 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 he's saving. Folks sometimes need to see Yah in you as opposed to hearing about him from you. It's better to see him. Or despise thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long-suffering, not knowing it's the goodness of Yah that leads thee to repentance. But after thy hardness and impotent heart treasure up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of Yah, who will render to every man according to his deeds. See, uh, uh, again, in all thy getting get understanding, it is not saying that you should be tolerant of sin. It is not saying that at all. Because the sixth verse said, Who will render to every man according to his deeds? And am I my brother's keeper? The answer is yes. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Wounds. Someone going the wrong way, you you, you wound the flesh, which need to be wounded. When you tell folks the truth, faithful are the wounds of a friend. We tell folks the truth because you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. We got a job to plant, and we got a job to, to, to water, and that is to share the truth with everybody, going out and compelling people to come to Yah, bottom line. The days are evil, and we should be going out and spreading the good news that Yah can save you. He can change you. So it's not definitely talking about or despise thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance, meaning Allow folks just to go on sin and mind your own business because Yah is being patient. He's telling people to repent and do it quickly. 
So you gotta you gotta understand the problem is that a person's heart towards people isn't right when you running around here judging them for what they do, but you yourself expect mercy. So do you spies the fact that since you believe you got mercy coming, do you spies the fact that he can have mercy on them as well? But because that person's heart is hardened, religious, you know, having a form of yawning is denying the power thereof. <laughs> have you ever met, uh, oh, come on. Am I going to go there? <laughs> I ain't going to go there. But, um, but actually, the, thy hardness and impotent heart treasure up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of Yah, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patient continuance and well-doing seek for Kaba, it says glory in the King James, right? And honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the proof, the, the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. So here it is. Again, it's drawing a picture that you don't want to be the type of person that's religious that go around judging other people and you got a filthy life. You don't you don't you don't want to be that person. And in your mind, he's having mercy on you, and he's gonna condemn them because you're the mouthpiece. No. Saul said. I can preach the gospel to you, but I myself be a castaway. I, I, can, I can get rejected while I'm preaching life to you. So he got to buffet his own flesh to make sure that he's lining up, that he's doing what's right. Because Yah is letting you know right here that he's going to render to every man according to his lifestyle, to his deeds. To them who by patience, continuance, and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteous, indignation and wrath. Be religious all you want. This is a lifestyle thing. Real talk. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of a man that doeth evil. Of the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Y'all heard that? Tribulation and anger upon every, uh, uh, every soul of a man that doeth evil. Now look at this. Is reminding you again. If you're doing evil, if you're sinning, if you're disobeying Yah, tribulation, anguish, indignation, and wrath. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. The covenant agreement that Yah made was with the children of Israel. The same ones he said, if you disobey me, I'm going to scatter you across the four corners of the earth. You're going into slavery by ship. You're going to be despised. You're going to be, you're going to be the tail and not the head. I, wa I wanted to make you, you were the, the head and not the tail. Because of your sins, I reversed it. You're going to be beneath and not above. You were, you were above only, but now you're beneath. All that moral standard and stuff that I gave you, no, you eating the worst food, living in the worst neighborhoods. In fact, you're going to get you you going to be famous for getting uh, uh, I, uh identity theft. Somebody going to steal your identity. They going they going they going to switch places with you. They they going they going to make you the Gentile and then they going to become the Jew. I know them to say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, right? Revelation 2 and 9. Somebody not only going going to finance your whooping you going into slavery, and they're going to be above you because Jerusalem will be trodden down under the foot of the Gentiles. But not only are they going to flip the script on you and steal your identity and dog you out and steal everything that y'all gave you, you're going to look real terrible. Right? Not only is that going to happen to you, but it's going to be all bad for you all across the board. <laughs> but but, but so-called glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Because he's dealing with the Jew first. He's dealing with his chosen people first. 
People got a theology like he don't love Israel no more. It's a church dispensation and Israel is out of it. This is this is this is this is a New Testament book here. To the Jew first. To the Jew first. Well, it don't matter being Israel now. That's what they say. To the Jew first. Then that statement shouldn't be there. To the Jew first. And also to the Gentile. <laughs> For there is no respect to persons with Yah. That is not a respect to persons. Abraham uh, 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 is the one that struck the deal with him. Abraham is the one that, that, that followed Yah uh, uh, through faith. And because of that, he made a promise to him. Him keeping his promise. If I say line up, and you jump in the line first, and I feed you first, the person behind you talking about, oh, you sure and respect the person. Why they get their food first? Because I said line up, and, and the, the person that's in front of the line is going to get fed first. That ain't no respect to persons. Him making them the head. Israel was the head. Apple of his eye. That they didn't respect the person. They did what it took to qualify. You could have did it, but you didn't. They did. He did. Abraham did, to be honest with you. <laughs> but glory and honor and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect to person with Yah. For as many uh, as have sinned without the law shall perish without the law. And as many have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. Though, though, those that uh, have sinned without the law say you lawless. You're going against the most high. You ain't got no law. You're lawless. You're going to perish. Bottom line. It ain't going to be I didn't know. <laughs> For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The way of salvation is through the gospel. And if you don't have it, you might claim to be an atheist, a non-believer, then you'll perish without the law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. That's, that's Jew and Gentile. The Gentile was, was yawless, doing whatever the heck they wanted, and they were sinning. And they're going to perish without the law. Folks was perishing without the law before the law came. Because the promise was made to Abraham 430 years later the law came. And people was perishing without the law then. People was perishing after the similitude of Adam's sin from the beginning without the law. For as many as have sinned without the law, because you're talking about the law written on stone, well, the law was before the stone came. Whatever Yah tell you to do, that's a commandment. That's a law. And folks running around was lawless and was dying. You ran into a man that didn't want to live lawless after he met the Most High. The Most High spoke to him. He did exactly what the Most High told him to do. And, and he was crowned the father of faith. Because it's really based on relationship. You don't need the, 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 the carnal commandment written on stone to have a relationship with the Most High. You don't, you, you, don't need, you don't need the law to have a relationship with the Most High. Abraham had a relationship with the Most High without the law. Adam and Eve had a relationship with the Most High uh, without the law. The ones that was written on stone, but whatever he say is law. You got to get that. You got to get off this religious position when it comes even to the law. For as many have sinned without the law, talking about the written on stone, they still got to obey the most high. They either going to have a relationship with him or they're not. They, they either going to walk in the spirit of love or not. Because the most high is love. Yah is love. And as many as have sinned without the law shall uh, also perish without the law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. Whip the law out. Because now it's written. The written code. You can look at it. Are you, are you living up to the standard? Yes or no? For not the hearers of the law are just before the Most High. But the doers of the law shall be justified. Now again... <laughs> You're talking about 
any command that Yah give is law. Cause, cause, cause Abraham obeyed the law. What, what no law written on stone? Yah, Yah told him to grab Isaac and and, and go on and bring him over here. That was law. Told him to leave the family. That was law. Whatever he told him to do, it was law. And being hearing the law of Yah don't justify you. It's doing it. It is obeying it. When we stick to the word, it demolishes false doctrine automatically. It is so plain. For not the hearers of the law just before Yah, but the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature things contained in the law, these, uh, not, uh, th these having not the law are law unto themselves. Before the law came, um, even though he still he he was he was he was he was Judah he 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 was he was a Jew for the lack of a better term. But Abraham didn't have a law, not written on stone. He had a relationship with the Most High, right? So 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 give that to anybody. Give that to anybody that is going to obey and believe in the Most High. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these, having not the law, are law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts, uh, uh, the meanwhile, accusing or excusing one another. That wasn't right. That they're conscious. You heard that term, let your conscience be your guide? Excusing or accusing them. Right? 16 verse. In the day when Yah shall judge the secrets of men's hearts by uh, Yahushua HaMashiach, according to my gospel, because the Messiah is the word, right? And the word is the gospel, keeping it 100. In the day when Yah shall judge the secrets of men by the word. Remember the books to be opened in Revelations. The book of your life and then the book of life. In the day when Yah shall judge the secret of men by Yahushua HaMashiach according uh, uh, to uh, uh, my gospel. Behold, behold, uh, art thou called a Jew and rested in the law and make thy boast of Yah? Okay. So, this is talking about Israel. Okay, so, you, you, you're Judah, right? You're, 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 you're. You're, you're Israel, right? You rest in the law. Talking about the, the written code now on stone, right? You rest in that and make of your boast of Yah and knowest his will, you do, and approvest the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law. Well, so you're a law guy, right? You're a law gal. Okay. And art, art thou confident that thou, uh, that thou thyself art a judge a guide to the blind, rather. I apologize, y'all. A guide of the blind. A light of them which are in darkness. You got the written code, right? You know it. You're an instructor of it, right? You're, you're, you're a guide to the blind. A light to them which are in darkness. An instructor of the foolish. Okay, that's cool. A teacher of babes. That's great. Which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal. Dost thou steal? You, 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 this, this whole chapter is, is putting things in its perspective of people positioning themselves to be the spokespeople for Yah, for the Most High. Are you cool? Are you living it? I, I hear your sermons. But 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 are, but but are you living it? You got the Gentiles that got a law unto themselves. But please believe me, those that sinned without the law perished, and those that sinned in the law perished. The Gentiles being a law unto themselves didn't help them, and folks that had the law going against it. Didn't help them either. 
Thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself, that thou preachest, thou that uh, 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 preachest, a man should not steal. Are you a thief? Thou that says a man should not commit adultery. Do you commit adultery? Thou that uh, 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 abhors idols. Does thou commit uh, uh, sacrilege? Thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law, dishonors thou Yah. You, you, you want to... The, 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 the Israel wanted to set up and be the judges of the world. But they wasn't, do, they wasn't, they wasn't doing it either. They, 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 wasn't, they wasn't obeying the Most High. They run around here with, with, with the beards and the tassels and the ephods, but they wasn't, they wasn't living it. They, they wasn't doing it themselves. Thou that makest, uh, thou that says the man should not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? Abhor idols? Do you uh, uh, commit sacrilege? Thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law, dishonorest thou Yah? For the name of Yah's blaspheme amongst the Gentiles through you, as it is written, uh, uh, for circumcision, circumcision verily prophecies, if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. For circumcision profits if you keep the law. I sure like to meet that person that uh, kept the law <laughs> completely. <laughs> For circumcision verily profit if, if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcised. So you want to brag about because you circumcised? Your circumcision don't count. If you're not keeping the law, your circumcision don't count. So how you, who are you going to judge now? Your circumcision, you want to show that you're a Jew, you're a law keeper, right? You, you, you stand by the oracles of Yah, right? You're looking at the Gentiles like they're not cool, right? And I'm not saying they are. <laughs> In fact, to be honest with you, they're not cool. And you're looking at the Gentiles like they're not cool. Because you circumcised and you got the law. Well, if you're not keeping the law, keep your circumcision to yourself because it don't count. For, 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 for circumcision verily profited if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Therefore, if the, the, the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? So if the uncircumcision, which is the Gentile, keep the righteousness of the law, obey the commandments, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? If they're a law keeper, then they, 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 they're, they're uncircumcision, though they're not circumcised, they, they are circumcised. Y'all follow me? And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it follow the law, judge thee. Shall, shall not uncircumcision... Which is by nature. They, but naturally, they didn't get their foreskin cut. So shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if fulfill the law, because that's the most important, is keeping the law of Yah. So they're uncircumcised. They, they didn't cut their foreskin. They, they ain't got the, 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 the Israelite customs. They straight heathens, right? They got the foreskin, and that's kind of like not clean. They got the foreskin, but but they, but but they but they obey Yada. They obey the word. Shall not their uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge you? So now it was a role reversal. The role reversal is now the Gentile can judge you if they're doing what the Most High say. And you not, but you you physically circumcised. <laughs> Shall not the uncircumcised, which is by nature, if it fulfilled the law, judge you. 
the one that should be keeping the Most High's laws. <laughs> Who by the letter and circumcision do transgress the law. You, 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 you got the letter of the word, but you're going against the Most High yourself. You're not keeping the commandments. So you want to brag about what? The melanin? Say the people is getting the revelation according to the word and his history, historically, that uh, 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 the Negro is the true, true Israel. Right? And you grabbing ephods and, and, and growing beards and stuff like that and getting circumcised. Right? But if you're not keeping the law, then how could you judge the Gentile if they do? Because what's most important isn't the outer appearance. The melanin, the hair like sheep wool, like the Mashiach had, the Messiah had, like Abraham had, that's the forefather. I know history has you know, switch things, they painted their images and, and, and flipped the script. That's a part of the curse. So the true Israel wouldn't know who they was. But they, they, they flipped the script, which is part of uh, uh, Israel's uh, punishment. But say Israel wake up and they find out who they are, they bum rush right back into carnal commandments, carnal oracles. Want, 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 to, want to make their boast in the law, but you're not keeping it. Even when you, was in, when you was in Jerusalem, you didn't keep it. That's why you got ran out of Jerusalem. Had to run and hide in Nigeria. Right where the slave trade happened. And then shipped all, all over the four corners of the earth. Lost your identity and lost everything you had. <laughs> because you weren't keeping it thin. But you got a, a, a fat theology against the Gentile. I hear you. Gentile guilty. So is you. Them being uncircumcised, if they obey the Most High, which is more important, the natural or the spiritual? Is salvation in in a, in a natural circumcision, or did Abraham have to obey and believe Yah? He had to obey and believe Yah. Then the circumcision came. Then the relationship was strengthened. When he obeyed Yah. Well, there ain't nothing changed. It's not about your melanin. It's not about your, your nappy hair. It's about keeping the law. <laughs> Doing what the Most High say, right? Let's even talk about the law written on stone. Let's, let's keep it. Because if you're not keeping it, then your, uncirc then your circumcision becomes uncircumcision. And then if you've got someone that is uncircumcised that keep it, then they rose above your circumcision. Don't be mad at somebody that obeys uh, the commandments <laughs> that's uncircumcised. You want to call them a heathen. No, a heathen is one that goes against the most high. They don't keep the commandments. That's the heathen. It ain't about no melanin. Yeah, the, the 12 tribes have melanin. That's the truth anyhow. Got nappy hair. Been hijacked from their identity. You got Judah and Benjamin shipped all over the place. Got ran out of uh, 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 Jerusalem. <laughs> got ran out of there. Ducking for cover. <laughs> you got the other the uh, ten tribes scattered abroad, still over there uh, 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 in Africa. You. you, you <laughs> All because of sin. Because of they, they 
they sinned. Now, now, now that you're waking up, you want to fall back up under a physical commandment? Physical circumcision? Okay. That's cool. Never read, um, <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. But anyway, therefore, if uncircumcision, talking about the Gentiles, keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision. Now, if you get the revelation, it didn't say keep the law, to be honest with you. It said keep the righteousness of the law. So just remember that. Because we're going to go through the book of Romans so we can get some clarifications on what's really going on, right? Therefore, if, if the uncircumcision, because that's physical, right? And so is the Ten Commandments on stone. But through the Spirit, as you get understanding, it's going to be lifted off the stone. And so is the uh, circumcision. It's going to be lifted off the foreskin. And it's going to be the circumcision of the heart. And it's going to be the commandments of the heart. But we're slowly getting there, right? We got to go through the book, right? But therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, the righteousness of the law, huh? Okay, 25, let's do it again. For circumcision verily profit, talking about the physical circumcision, if thou keep the law, that's a spiritual move, right? But if you keep the law, now that's keeping the law. Keep the law, then your circumcision is good. You know anyone that kept the law perfectly? Besides the Mashiach? <sighs> the circumcision got a problem spiritually. It's clean, though. You can, you can do it. It's cleaner, right? For circumcision, verily profited. You circumcise. You Judah. You Benjamin. You Israel. Right? For circumcision, verily profited. It's good. Melanin, nappy hair. For circumcision verily profited if thou keep the law. Because physical circumcision go with physical law written on stone. And if you kept it, your circumcision is rocking. But if thou be a breaker of the law, did you ever break it? Then thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Now you with me? Now we can graduate to the 26th verse, right? Therefore, if uncircumcision, talking about physical now, if uncircumcision <laughs> keep the righteousness of the law, righteousness of the law, if uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, ain't got no physical circumcision, Gentile, keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision, no physical circumcision, right? Be counted for circ circumcision? Can we count someone that's not circumcised in a foreskin as somebody that's circumcised? Can that happen? Can I answer that? Yeah. Because the main thing is to obey the most high. <laughs> 27. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, making a difference between the spirit and the flesh. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, they're not circumcised. That's the seal of the covenant. They don't have it. And shall not the uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law. It didn't say uh, uh, keep the law. It said fulfill it. <laughs> you got to catch it, right? The righteousness of the law. And now it said if it fulfill the law. Judge thee. Who by the letter, the physical law, and circumcision. You got the physical law on stone. Who by the letter, you got that, right? And circumcision. You got the foreskin cut, right? You got the, the contract, the, the, the seal, right? The circumcision. Who by the letter and circumcision does transgress the law. So you got the Ten Commandments. You got circumcision. You got the melanin and the nappy hair. But you transgress in the law. For he is not a Jew. Which is one outwardly. See. 
There go the melanin. Huh. In the nappy hair. You got robbed of it too when they switched it and, and, and painted to the she eyes look different. Made you, the, t the tail make you look bad. Make you look like you never accomplished anything. <laughs> Just erased you. Just erased you, literally. Real talk. <laughs> Your history started in Jamestown in 1611 when the slaves landed. Go to school if you think I'm playing. All, the, all, 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 all of Israel that lost their name, just like they did in, in the movie Roots. Or just like they did in Babylon, the Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's not their names. They, they snatched their names. But you that lost your identity, lost your names and all that. Okay, now that you're finding out who you are, now we still got to put it in its proper perspective. He is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. You find out who you are, that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong. We're going to get through it, y'all. I'm not going to leave you there. The book is not going to leave you there because that's really what I'm following. I'm following the blueprint, right? For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Talk about the circumcision. The physical circumcision. And him that's running around with the letter. Talking about the Ten Commandments. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Come on, y'all. Can you get... I, that's a hard pill to swallow, especially when you wake up to who you are. But he don't leave you there. Saul don't leave you there. But in all that getting, get an understanding. <laughs> it still is to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. It's still to his chosen people first and so is the butt whooping. You should know that part. Because his children sure got their butt whooped and they still getting it whooped right now. Gunned down, unarmed, and just shot down like a dog. <laughs> Shackles, they still chaining them up. <laughs> kill, kill, a, uh, 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 kill Israel and go to Disneyland. Get acquitted, get a, get, get a GoFundMe account. They... <laughs> they <laughs> Ugh, they still getting beat down. Claim you you uh, 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 the true Jew, and prove it. History says it. Scripture says it so plain. Th them Jews over there ain't never been shipped to the four quarters of the earth. Never been in slavery for four hundred years. They the richest people on the planet. I know them say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan? Revelation 2 and 9. 3 and 9, he's going to conclude on them. I know you say you're a Jew, but you're going to bow down to the real one. When it's all said and done, keep living. So ain't nothing wrong with, with, with being, being a Jew. Come on, somebody. It's a great thing, but we still got to put it in this proper perspective because he's stripping you of the part of being a Jew that you love. Especially since your self-esteem has been just smashed. Been taught that you the thug and you ain't no good and you ain't got no contribution to the planet. All you is is a crackhead, a player, a pimp, a prostitute, a thot, dope fiend, lazy shift. How you built, how did Israel build this whole joker and now they classify it as lazy? <laughs> But the role reversal, the curse is real, y'all. The whooping. But it's coming to a conclusion. It's coming to a head. Yah's going to wake his children up and bring them back. But he definitely going to uh, uh, give you the word so you can keep it in its proper perspective. Don't get beside yourself and, and, and try to have another natural relationship with the Most High. Because that's the state of mind that got you uh, shipped into slavery in the first place. Got you kicked out of the homeland in the first place. Dealing with a, a spiritual Elohim naturally, carnally. Thought you had it made based on the righteousness of Abraham like you didn't have to uh, follow suit. You were supposed to follow suit with the same faith that our, our grandpa had. You were supposed to have it too. Not a bunch of carnal. Car he had to deal with you carnally because you was carnal. 
He had to snatch up Moses and give you the 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 the, the covenant on stone because it represents the stone of your heart. <laughs> The word on stone don't work. He, he want to give you a new heart of flesh so that the word can work in it. Word don't work on a stony heart. Putting it in its proper respect. Thou therefore, okay, we're going to wrap it, okay, because we have to end anyway. But look, <laughs> I'm going to start at 25 again, right? Because this is right, like this is the meat. This is breaking it down, right? The, therefore, if... If the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, hypothetically speaking, I am not saying that it did. It didn't keep the law, but uncirc uncircumcision can't keep the righteousness of the law. You got to watch the language. It went, it exposed true Israel's heart because fake Israel is fake. They ain't even, they, they the synagogue of Satan. <laughs> They owe something else. They just uh, occupying the land and running around w with Yah's children money in their hand. <laughs> but anyway, those that really love Yah, trying to get your head right, right? So look what it say. Watch the language. For circumcision verily profited if thou keep the law. I sure like to meet the, the Hebrew that kept the law. Because if you offend at one point, you're guilty of all the word teaches. For circumcision verily profited if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, now I know a whole bunch of them, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. So you ain't got nothing to brag about now. Kind of, uh-oh, shh, nothing to say. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, the righteousness of the law. Not the law, the righteousness of the law. <laughs> Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? That's a question. How sarcastic is it? Get a clue. I say the uncircumcision will be counted for circumcision. Don't you? Because that's what he's saying. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, still talking about the same folks, in the same uncircumcised heart condition, which is by nature, they don't have it physically. And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee that has the law and the commandments, who by the letter and circumcision do transgress the law. You got the commandments, you got the circumcision, but you're going against the law. You're going against the commandments that you hold and with your circumcision on uh, in your underclothes. For he is not a Jew, get it, which is one outwardly. Mm -mm. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, outside. Mm -mm. That's not what he's talking about. But you are. So get what he's saying. If you're a Jew by blood, you're a Jew by blood. That's right. You can't join it like that, like they got it going now. It's really a family, a bloodline. And there's proselytes that can join them, but they're proselytes. The true Jew is uh, um, the blood, the bloodline. Real blood, same blood as the Messiah, same blood as Saul and them, same blood as Abraham, all David and all them, same blood, like family members. Not this new stuff. <laughs> anyway. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Talking about getting the essence of what this is really teaching. Neither is that, neither is that circumcision, which is one outwardly in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. Because that's really what it's all about. That's how Abraham became the apple of his eye and his children. It wasn't because of something outward. It was because something inward. And the inward was obeying Yah, having faith in Yah, trusting in what he said to the point that he did it. 
And that's what made him the father of the faith. But he is a Israelite, a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit. Not in the letter. What is the letter? The Torah, the Ten Commandments. Not in the letter. Folks, is, <laughs> Israel is waking up to who they are. <laughs> Jump right in the letter. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart. Heart up here. This punk blood. But you understand, heart, in the spirit, not in the Ten Commandments, in the letter. Whose praise is not of men, but of Yah. Did y'all get that? I hope y'all did. So a quick recant, you're inexcusable when you're judging because you're circumcised. And you have the Ten Commandments, but you're not, you're not, you're not keeping. So now you're despising the richness of his goodness because he, he'll save a Gentile that's not circumcised. Oh, we're doing a recant now so we can get out of here. You're despising the riches of his goodness because the accusation is the Most High is dealing with Gentiles, someone other than the bloodline that's not circumcised you don't have the Ten Commandments you despise in that now you're mad you je I can understand you're jealous I get it after all what they did to us put us through I get it but if you ever has made a new creation and you wake up you're going to see it's not about that the Most High is the one that allowed that to happen quit blaming them Y'all going to deal with them. Everyone that did stuff to Israel, y'all got them something delicious. And he's about to get them now. Those that are not of the true circumcision of the heart going to pay dearly too. But he dealing with you right here saying you think that you got it made just on your bloodline, on your nappy hair, your melanin. You think you got it made because of that. Because the commands was given to you, you think you got it made. You got to do it. But after the hardness and impudent, but after thy hardness and impudent heart, treasure up, Unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath of the revelation of the righteous judgment of Yah. Yah's judgment is righteous, but if you get caught up in the flesh, in the physical Ten Commandments, in circumcision, in the melanin, and in the hair, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss what, is, what it really is. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, your heart going to be hard. And you're going to treasure up to thyself wrath against the day of wrath and the righteous uh, uh, and the revelation of the righteous uh, judgment of Yah. You don't understand what he's doing and how he's doing. Who will render to every man according to his deed? He lumped them all together in the sixth verse. He go, he he gonna he gonna render to every man according to how he lived, Jew and Gentile. To the Jew first, he already dealing with us. He already he just now taking the scales off your eyes so you can realize who you are, that you're the apple of his eye, but. What, what what caused you to be the apple of his eye is not because of the physical, even though you have a physical. And he even came in your physical. He didn't come like the picture, Caesar Borgia, like the picture that they painted. He didn't come like that. That's a part of the, a white supremacy or, or that, that's a part of uh, 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 ki killing your, <laughs> oh man, killing your self-esteem. Jacked you for your, that, that's a part of the identity theft. Which was a part of your beating that the Most High allowed. Gave you a, 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 the spirit of slumber. But we're going to get to all that in this book. Now that he's taking the scales off your eyes, you're waking up. You want to hurry up and grab the fact of who you are. Which is the beautiful thing. But don't grab it in the wrong way. Don't think because 
who you are. You got, got it good with the Most High because you was who you was when, when the Most High stuck his foot up your behind and let you be shipped into the four corners of the earth and, and be sold as, 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 as men slaves and women slaves. You lost your children. Huh. Read uh, Deuteronomy 28. It'll tell you. It'll tell you Leviticus, Leviticus 26. It'll tell you. It'll tell you what happened to you. Way more books than that, but I'm just saying. Those are nice ones to get you going. It'll tell you. But he's rendered to every man according to his deeds, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. But to them who through patience, come on, get your stuff together. So, 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 so the Gentiles... They don't have the law. They're gonna perish, perish without it if if they if they're going against Yah. It said, "For as many as have sinned without the law, they don't they don't have the law. They don't have the Ten Commandments. They, they don't have it. They don't do they do not have the Ten Commandments, right? They rock it more like with some you know what they call the church dispensation, right? But if they sinning against the Most High." They still gonna perish, and if you want to hold on to the Ten Commandments, you want to hold on to the law. When you go against it, you sin against it, you're gonna be judged by the law. For it's not the hearers of the law that just y'all getting this. I'm just skimming through so, so we can put it in its proper perspective, right? So it goes back to the to the Jews, right? So you are an instructor because you got the law. That's what you think, okay? Because you circumcised. Well, your circumcision do not count if you break the law. So just remember that. So now you can't boast of your circumcision. You being the physical bloodline, you can't brag in that if you're going against the Most High's law. And then he threw the Gentile back up in your face and said, because them being uncircumcised, if they keep the righteousness of the law, what he really was talking about. Not the physical, the spiritual. If they keep the essence of what the law really represented, then their lifestyle going to judge you while you're standing there with your ephod on and your beard. <laughs> then it concluded. For he is not a Jew which is outwardly. Neither is that circumcision which is Outward in the flesh. But he's a Jew which is one inwardly. Mm -hmm. And circumcision is that of the heart and in the spirit. Not of the letter, the physical that we walk around with, right? Huh? Whose praise is not of men but of of Yah. I pray y'all got um, some food out of this. Um, yeah. I pray um, it went over clear. We're going to try to get back in the third in the third chapter sometime real soon. But let's pray. Spirit of living Yahweh, we, we pray that your word went forth with clarity. A folding down the souls of your children, spring up everlasting life. As, as you give me revelation, I'll share it with your children according to your word. Uh, continue to make it plain, even plainer, so we may grow thereby. We completely depend on you and we're trusting you. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Conference recording stopped. Conference unmuted. We pray it was playing, y'all. Um, yeah. Continue to pray for me as we move forward in this, and I'll definitely be praying for you as well. Um, if you deem this to be a good ministry, um, so. Hallelujah. Uh, if you want to sow into the ministry, you can go to PayPal, DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D E R R I C K M A N N. 5857 at yahoo.com. If you have any questions, disagree with anything, get at me. It's good. Call me anytime. Hit me on Facebook, Yahoo to Israel. Or, um, yeah, inbox me. Get at me. I'll, um, I'll share the number, my personal number. We can talk about it. Or, and, you know, get on the line. 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. We on here Monday through Friday. Um, at a 6, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be on here for a couple of minutes. If you want to chop it up right quick, you can get at me right now. But uh, if not, you can catch me. Like I said, we on Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Um, 
absolutely love you. Pray you got something out the lesson. Uh, Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Be Baruch. Baraka Shalom.